Good job, Pokemon fans. How you guys doing? It's Pokemon Event. We're heading towards the Pokemon Center in Tokyo DX. But I want to share with you some of the beautiful sights this time of the year. The cherry blossom trees are in full bloom, scattered everywhere around the city, like pink fluffy clouds. Something you definitely have to see once in your life. Put it on your bucket list. And also, something you have to put on your bucket list is going to the Pokemon Center DX, my favorite Pokemon Center. Let's go inside and check it out and see what's new. Whenever I hear this chime, I know that I'm going to have a half an hour of fun times ahead of me visiting the Pokemon Center. Oops, there goes the, uh, the standby for the Pokemon Cafe. It is very crowded. It's, it is like one month in advance. The reservations are all booked. Anyways, so like I said, whenever I hear that chime, I know like, hey, I'm going to have half an hour of fun. Fun time shooting a video for you guys. So hope you guys enjoy it. Get your popcorn and uh, drinks ready. Let's get in. Uh, at the Pokemon Center DX, they always put the, the, the nicest and the newest goodies right up front. And we have a, a Mochi Mochi Wismer. These are new. These are the Ogre Pond. The four, uh, the four masks of transformation. There's a uh, an Ogre Pond TCG set coming out at the end of this month. What do you guys think of this Ogre Pond uh, character? Kind of interesting. Something new. It's been a long time since I last saw a Togepi in such a large plush. Look how soft it is, guys. It's super fluffy. Mochi Mochi. Mario Gen 2. And what's uh, Mario's special point? Of course, the ball-like tail. Pop quiz, guys. Is uh, what, what kind of Pokemon is Mario? Is it fairy type or water type? Electric type? Leave a comment without looking it up. What kind of Pokemon is Maril? The Pokemon Center recently has been very crowded. It's, it's pretty hard to shoot a decent video, but I tried my best. Mm, this looks like the, uh, the monthly release of goods. We have the uh, two starter legends, Miraidon and Koraidon. Mm, I don't think there's anything surprising in this set or in the series. I mean, they basically had the usual file folders, ball pens, notebooks. You can see the uh, LED frame down down there. Keychains, little knickknacks. Something that definitely did catch my eye though were these nice Gen 1 dioramas. They're not too big, not small. Very nice detail. That that Dragonite's a very nice one and Gyarados. Even the uh, Putra in the back, that's a very nice one. There's six of them. There's Polygon, Taurus, Aerodactyl or Putra in Japanese. There's a Kabigon one, a Snorlax one. We're going to see that later. These I thought were old. I thought it was an old series, but I've never seen these before. I'm surprised. These are definitely new. These uh, trainer outfits. You see Iono, Grusha, Penny, and two other trainers. Clever idea. Not Pokemon, but trainer outfits. The Japanese, though, says miniature torso, which just sounds kind of scary because we don't only we don't want any torsos walking around or torsos being displayed. Looks like somebody uh, was so excited that they forgot their uh, stroller in the middle of the shop. In fact, the um, sales associate had to look for the rightful owner of the, uh, the stroller. 
it been left there for a few minutes. Anyways, back to uh, more Pokemon goods. I don't think there was anything new in the stationary section in the in the pencil area or these stickers, so I just kind of breezed through them. Recently, they have come out with more of these um, seals, though. Not seals. Um, these patches that are uh, that you iron onto a flat surface, your bag or a, a shirt, t-shirt, that type of thing. I've noticed there are a few more. You see Captain Pikachu, the Evolutions, Snorlax, Mewtwo, Charizard, a bunch of them as you can see. They even have Lugia, always spreading its wings, reminding you its wingspan is wider than yours. I think they make great, great gift ideas because you know it's very, very easy to pack. Doesn't uh, doesn't weigh much. These are also cute. These stapleless staplers. You can staple up to uh, five sheets of paper without using any staples. Those, these are new, I hadn't seen them before. A lot of cute folders. Some are new, some are old. The ones we saw earlier, these, this is also old. This is what's your charm point. The first one is uh, the Easter series. But I, uh, I think you can never get enough of file folders. If you're a student, you know you can always uh, something very practical. Which one caught your eye so far, guys? Of these file folders, it's a cute uh, mimosa one. Celebrating Women's Day. In this Mongolia section, I did notice a few new additions, like the chandelier. I've never seen this before. This might be new to the Pokemon Center. The Volcaro this Volcarona one too. I think it's new. I may sound like a broken record, but mm, the Pokemon Center doesn't have a wide selection of uh, Mongolia figures, unfortunately. That's a very cute mouse hold. For the largest selection, I recommend you go to Aeon or Ito Yokado or Yodowashi Camera, Big Camera. They'll have a much larger selection of uh, Mongolia figures. Here's another, here's another neat item. May is Children's Day in Japan and traditionally Mm, they use carp streamers to celebrate uh, Children's Day. That was a very nice, uh, nice touch. A lot of new stuff like this. Uh, paper theater is also new. I've never seen it before. That uh, two kinds: the starter Pokemon, the Paldean starters. And you can see Charizard and Captain Pikachu from the Pokemon Horizon series TV animation. And finally we enter... Oh, what, what was that? Mr. Jinx arm dangling? <laughs> you look a bit scary. Mr. Jinx arm was dangling off the shelf. What do you guys think of these keychains? These retractable cord keychains. They've added a, a bunch of them, a bunch of new ones. The Zikram one, Palmy. These are all new. I've never seen uh, 
they, they, I guess they added a few more to the series. The keychain section seems to be growing larger each time I visit the Pokemon Center. Maybe they're good sellers, better sellers uh, than the Moncoli figures. Not sure. What do you guys think of this? Uh, these starter plushies, starter Pokemon plushies. I love Sobble. Sobble and Froakie. Two of my uh, newer starter Pokemon. Here's a cute Charmander, the Psycho Soda plushie, Squirtle. Plushy galore, plushy galore, that's for sure. I'm always giddy when I enter this section of the Pokemon Center DX, the plushy paradise. I'm a grown man, but still I like, I really love this plushy room. It's uh, always a nice surprise, like this charger bug, this giant charger bug plushy. I think charger bug looks like a, a tardigrade, what do you guys think? You guys know what a tardigrade is? Check in water, check out water elephant or tardigrade. Do you agree? And guys, don't forget, if you don't want to miss out on monthly videos like these straight out of Tokyo, Japan, smash that sub button, hit that like button, and smash that notification bell so you never miss out on fresh Pokemon video straight out of Tokyo, Japan. Twice a month, once a month, three times a month, every week. And of course, we can't leave the Pokemon Center without shooting LeChonk. Another one of my, uh, the Pokemon I like. They even had a Claude Sire plush. Not one, but two kinds, look. Like this one here. Just had smooth, a smooth one. And a more terry cloth one. Not sure what that's about. This giant Cleffa is from before. Cleffa and Natu. I remember these from like a few months ago. But they had all the giant plushies on this side of the wall. And on the other side of the wall, which we're going to look at soon. Oh, here is uh, the DX limited edition Kabukichu. Definitely one of my favorite Pikachu plushies. Mm, this Ninja Chu one's nice, but if I had to choose between Ninja and Kabuki Actor Chu, I'd definitely go with uh, Kabuki Actor Chu. There's another one too, right here. We have the the Sakura Frochu. As you can see, people have been buying a lot of them. Perhaps they're being uh, persuaded by uh, the cherry blossom season. What do you guys think? Which what, which one would you pick up if you were, if you were in the shop today? Would you pick up Kabuki Chu, the Ninja Chu, or the Sakura Frochu? So on this on this side of the wall, they had the smaller plushies. The evolutions are always big. There are a lot of evolutions on this side of the wall. That ditto I had never seen before. It's like a palm sized ditto. That must be new. But along this side of the wall, they have some of the more interesting ones, like these almost 2D looking ones. These are also very mochi mochi, very fluffy, very soft. Mochi mochi munchlax. And the sleeping slow poke. A lot of sleeping Pokemon on this side of the wall. 
But these are definitely smaller, as you can see. This cute yamper. Any yamper fans out there? Leave a comment, yamper fans. But just hundreds of plushies in this room. Like I said, this is my favorite section of the Pokemon Center. When I, whenever I go to the DX, I always wonder like, what new plushies are they gonna come out with today or this week? Like the Charger Bug one. I never thought I'd see a Charger Bug, a giant Charger Bug plushie or this sleeping Sprigatito plushie. This is always a nice surprise. That's what I wanna say. Even though I get to go like every week, every two weeks, I'm still surprised seeing all these plushies. Then we have a cute Dragonite, a sleeping Dragonite, sleeping Ponita. Very nice idea, these sleeping uh, plushies. I forgot what these are. I think these are called the All-Star Collection. So in terms of quality, I think they're better than the Pokey Fit Plush. I think they're called the All-Star Collection. Correct me if I'm wrong. Any experts out there? I think these are called the, the, uh, the All-Star Collection. And they're numbered. Like uh, Tatsugiri here is number 978. It's always a trip seeing Tatsugiri. More uh, napping Pokemons. Here we have a sleeping uh, score bunny. Very soft. Very nice. I think recently also they've added, they've restocked many um, Pokefit plushies. For a while, uh, a couple of months back, I remember there were only two shelves, barely two shelves. I never noticed how twiggy uh, Bellsprout was <laughs> until holding it that this time or that time. That's a nice Pokemon. Gen 1 Pokemon's right here. The Gen 1 section. There's some new ones, like they add new ones. They're kind of scattered. Like this Togetic one. This Togechic one. I don't think I've seen it before. Or this Espeon one. Hmm. I've seen so many of them that, that sometimes I'm kind of confused. Like, is oh, this definitely is a new one. I think Slow King is a new one. So they must have restocked um, Pokefit plushies. Like I said, um, the Pokemon Center recently. It's always crowded. It's very hard to see to uh, shoot a decent video. So people must be buying these. In fact, th there was a woman behind me right now, earlier. She had like a basket and a half full of plushies. She said she couldn't decide which one to get, so she decided to get all of them. That's a smart move. <laughs> what do you guys think? How many plushies would you get if you went to the Pokemon Center? I have too many already at home, so I can't. I really have to... Um, resist buying any more but I have a, a whole slew of Pokemon um, Pikachu plushies they even had vanilla ice today vanilla light ice ice baby oh looks like they restocked Frochu Afro Frochu mm, I would go with Kabukichu definitely Kabukichu 
for the longest time it was so difficult to get TCG but recently oof wow man the floodgates the Pokemon company has opened the floodgates you can get boxes and boxes of TCG not only at the Pokemon Center but at uh, big camera the electronic goods shop they have a lot of uh, TCG as well they also had a bunch of new t sleeves they added them here and there like uh, the trainer ones we saw at first but one sneaky thing they've done is they, they've added these uh, the American ones like the one the leftover stock from uh, the world champion series Yokohama from uh, last August half a year ago they've kind of mixed them with the with the Japanese one hoping to catch some unsuspecting or novice shoppers a little sneaky a little cheeky by the Pokemon Center and actually a big surprise were these Pikachu one, these limited edition Pikachu, the world champ. You can see it says Yokohama 2023 on top left. The ones I wanted were sold out, unfortunately, because I was a little late. But I did manage to get an extra playmat, Pikachu playmat. Not this one. This one is Lapras and Pikachu. But there's another one with Pikachu holding a uh, bowl of ramen. These were only available at the World Champions in Yokohama last August. This snack section is also very popular. Has a bunch of other goods as well, not only snacks, but as you can see, little Moncola figures. They have uh, rice crackers and wafers. Right there we see Nori and these Takaratomi promo cards with the uh, gummy inside. Those had a nice touch. Also they're adding more more of these cell phone accessories, smartphone accessories like these silicone cases for your ear pods. These are new. This Rowlet one is new. The Mimikyu one, this one's new. Here's an all purpose type of pouch, mini pouch case. And the Grieve one on the right, that's from the Bite Squad. It's a uh, EarPods Pro case. Very nice idea. This is a very nice uh, lineup actually. The Bite Squad, check it out like two videos ago. A lot of nice items in that uh, release. What do you guys think of these phone cases? Which one do you like? They're primarily only iPhone cases or mostly iPhone cases in the Pokemon Center. Not so much of the other uh, brands. As you can see, this little section is larger than a Moncola section. <laughs> yeah, I think it's kind of funny. It's just that if you go to Pokemon Center, you figure you would find a lot of Moncola figures, but no, you, you can't. It's not possible. Here's some cute pouches. Silicone pouches for coins, I guess or earphones something creative whatever you can think of this section in the DX is definitely much larger than the one in the Pokemon Center in Shibuya they don't have nearly as many uh, fashion goods at Pokemon Center in Shibuya but of course there's Nintendo the flagship store in the Nintendo Tokyo store in uh, Shibuya. They share the sixth floor with the Pokemon Center. A 
lot of neat bags and pouches in this section. Some are kind of, to be honest, some are really cheap quality, but they do have some nice things like this little pouch here. It's pretty nice, but you kind of have to be careful. Mm, be careful what you're choosing, because some are actually pretty poor quality, I think, in my honest opinion. I also love these wall lights, these LED built-in wall lights. I think they would make a, a great housewarming gift. What do you guys think? That Jirachi, Mimikyu, Gengar and Pikachu. They're very neat. They're like 4,000 yen, I think. Not cheap, but not too expensive. And I think it's something that will last a long time. Here's some more popular product. Rement figures. Pikachu's the hog. It's in uh, it's in every uh, release. Oh look, this series even has pseudo wudo. That's interesting. <laughs> How did pseudo wudo make it into that in that series? But these are definitely popular. They probably sell like hot potatoes. They come out with new series all the time. Definitely highly collectible. And I love this wall. This uh, see-through wall. I wish I had one at home. What do you guys think? Would you like to have one of these uh, plushy walls at home? And which Pokemon would you display on the along that wall? I think they're going to release this. I think they're slowly releasing these leftover uh, products from the WCS. So I think they might release the limited edition World Championship plushies very soon. The starter Pokemon plushies, the Paldean starters. Those are very cute as well. So I guess I'll be frequenting the Pokemon Center much more often this month and hopefully shoot another video very soon for you guys let's have uh, one more quick look at all the TCG products because uh, you can never have enough TCG products that's for sure so guys what did you think what was your favorite item in this video leave a comment let me know so I can shoot more of it in the future and if you don't want to miss out on fresh new Pokemon content straight out of Tokyo, Japan. Be sure to sub, hit that like button, and let's enjoy a few more shots of the beautiful Some Yoshino cherry blossoms. Definitely one of the best times to visit Japan. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great one, guys. Pika Pika, peace.